Hi, everybody. Welcome to TFC HQ presented by Kia. I'm Marie Papadakis alongside Gareth Wheeler. Now, Gareth, a lot of the guys on TFC are away on international duty. So what does this mean right now for the team? Well, first of all, it's time to decompress for the players that are actually here uh, at the BMO training grounds and who have remained in Toronto. Actual training sessions, Maria, and this is something that the coaching staff has harped on for quite some time. It's been a point of emphasis. When Toronto FC was at their best last year, the games were spread out. They had time to get on the training pitch and really work on their games and hone in on whatever tactical strategy they wanted to apply. That simply hasn't been the case. It's been roughly 70 days since the end of the World Cup break and the team has incredibly played 17 or 18 games that's a game every three three and a half days that's far too much football for some of these players who have been leaned on heavily so just getting back at a time like this getting in the proper physical state as well as a mental state for the stretch run of the season is just so important right now especially when things aren't going well maria you want to kind of step back gain some perspective instead of really being in the heat of the moment all the time so i think this break comes at an ideal time for this side so Michael Bradley and Josie Altador, two big guys for Toronto FC, are here. So what does this mean having them here during this bye week? Well, the U.S. men's national team is going very young. They're trying out young players to see who will fit. Alex Bono and Marky Delgado are two of them. And, and look, for the U.S. men's national team, when they have big, important games going forward, I have no doubt that Michael Bradley and Josie Altador will still be in the conversation. But this is what's better for both players and this club right now. Each of them has played so much football over recent years. Michael, you need to tear him off the training pitch as well. So having some time for them to take care of their bodies, to prolong their careers and make sure they're at their absolute best for the stretch run, it's paramount for Toronto FC. And, and let's be honest, these two are leaders among the, amongst this group as well. And having them here during this period of time to reset the focus, they're essentially like two extra coaches among the group. So I think that's huge for this team. Well, for more on the team during the bye week, let's hear from Coach Greg Benny. I think all the guys here ha have an opportunity to, whether it's recover or get healthy. Um, I think it's uh, the stretch of, of games that we've had over the last few months has felt like we've gone from game to recovery to game to recovery, and we haven't really been able to train. In the last two days, we've trained quite hard with the group, and uh, it's, been, it's a good feeling. It's good to have the guys working together as a group and suffering a little bit in training and pushing each other, and it's something that we need. We need more of it during the course of the season, and you know, it was nice to have it, and we look forward to you know, six more days, I think, of training before we play another game. Now, Garrett, Liam Frazier, Jonathan Osario, and to St. Ricketts are all with Team Canada right now, so what's next for Team Canada? Well, it's the CONCACAF Nations League qualifying. Canada plays on Sunday against the U.S. Virgin Islands, and it's a great opportunity for all three players to make an impression under new head coach John Herdman, there's positions in the team to be won. I think Jonathan Azorio is going to be right in the middle of his plans. The midfield's a position where Oso can really bolster for this Canadian team. So we'll see how they go in and play. There's a lot of excitement around Canadian football and our men's national team, and it's a great experience having all three players taking part. Well, coming out of the bye week, Toronto FC will face a few big teams. Seven games left in the season. Now, Garrett, the record is something people are watching out for. Do we have a chance at playoffs? There is a glimmer of hope, although the odds are stacked against Toronto FC now. But the mission still stays, stays the same. With nine games to go, it was said TFC had to go on and win six games. And look, there's seven games to go. Go out there and win six of them. And this Toronto FC team, we've seen them go on runs before. There's certainly the talent in the team they just need to get their confidence back and bring it all together teams in this league go on incredible runs the seattle sounders who struggled out of the gate this year they've reeled off eight wins in a row the philadelphia union of all teams are undefeated in their last last six so if you're asking me if there's a chance of course there's a chance but they need to be able to turn things around quickly and it all starts on the defensive end for me well for everything tfc you can head to torontofc.ca